Donkey Kong Country, Goldeneye, Banjo-Kazooie, Jet Force Gemini, Perfect Dark, Conker's Bad Fur Day. I mean, I could go on. Point is, in the 1990s, there wasn't a developer on the planet more prolific than Rare. In the early days of 3D games, these guys were burping up classics like they'd been stealing fizzy lifting drinks. And then they touched the ceiling and got nothing. Good day, sir. Actually, it wasn't quite that abrupt, but suffice to say, turned out that Rare without Nintendo was like snoz wangers without vermicious canids. It was just unnatural. The story of Rare's fall from total dominance to relative irrelevance is a sad and strange one, and it all started here. While fun and charming enough in its own right, it just wasn't as fun or charming as we expected from Rareware. Released to the Xbox in 2003, Grabbed by the Ghoulies marked the end of an era and the beginning of a new one, the very first Rare game for Microsoft. Now, to its credit, Grabbed by the Ghoulies showed Rare really trying to break from expectations. I mean, Rare had become known for its massive 3D platformers and action games. So for that alone, it was great to see Rare go down a different path with Grabbed by the Ghoulies. So uh, this is basically a linear action game. Uh, basically a beat-em-up, in fact. There's no freedom, no big rareware collectathons, just a point A to point B journey through a haunted mansion. And that could be interesting, but it's not. Perhaps the biggest functional problem with Grabbed by the Ghoulies is its control scheme. You attack by holding the right analog stick in the direction you wish to attack, almost like a twin-stick shooter. And that works for a twin-stick shooter. In a game like this, it's, it's just not ideal. You end up having to move the camera with the shoulder buttons, which feels about as natural as attacking with the analog stick. But you know, as boring as the gameplay is, and as awkward as the camera can be, that rare charm is still there. But the game looks awesome, with silent film-inspired title cards and you know, a style that wouldn't fill out a place in Luigi's Mansion. There's plenty of little nods to Rare's past in their prior games, but that's the thing, those memories only highlight how disappointing this game is. <laughs> Grabbed by the Ghoulies is a textbook example of an okay game. And ten years ago, okay was the last thing you expected from Rare. It was a strange beginning to what would eventually be the end. A game that's implications ended up being truer than anyone expected. The rare we once knew was dead. Oh, 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 oh. Oh.